Hello and welcome to a practical relaxation session. My name's Poppy Hill. Um, I'm a specialist Huntington's disease advisor for the Huntington's Disease Association. I'm also a qualified occupational therapist. And in many of the settings that I used to work in before I joined the HDA, I frequently used a basic selection of relaxation techniques in a lot of my interventions. Some of those really help people um, manage everything from stress, anxiety, pain, breathing problems, as well as sleep issues. And it really brought it home to me how effective these techniques can be. So today I'm just going to run a practical session using a few commonly used techniques by therapists. The session should last around about 30 to 35 minutes, and I will focus on three key areas. So today I'll be focusing on controlled breathing techniques, passive progressive muscle relaxation, and a guided imagery section. It is really important to stress to you that Relaxa relaxation techniques are quite individual. Um, they don't suit everybody. We're all different bods, aren't we? So it's perfectly normal if you don't get on with one or you get on with one more than another. What I would say is, please do try and keep an open mind. There are loads of therapeutic relaxation techniques out there. Many of you may have heard lots about mindfulness, which is wonderful. And also there are endless breathing techniques that do have a good explore out there. It may also be that this is, you know, your first time today trying some techniques. And as funny as it sounds, it is a skill. We have to train our brains to learn how to relax. So the more you practice these, actually the quicker your body and mind will get into a relaxed state. So before we start this practical session, I need to just cover some key information. So to make this relaxation session as effective as possible for you, it will be perfect if you could wear some loose clothing or if you haven't got loose clothing on today, if you can certainly kick your shoes off so that your feet are nice and free and you can wiggle your toes. If you've got a tight jacket on, perhaps that take that off, loosen you know, your top here a little bit, just so that you don't feel restricted and you can feel as relaxed as possible. The environment is very important. Ideally, you'd make it as relaxing as possible, have lower lighting, but the priority is making sure that your environment is nice and warm, that perhaps you've got a blanket to the side of you in case you get a little bit chilly and that you have your phone on silent or vibrate. So in terms of do you sit or lie, this is entirely up to you. If you're going to pick a chair, try and find one that's nice and supportive. And if it's not particularly, perhaps grab a cushion or two so that you can at least support your back nicely. And then what, what I'd like to do is sit in the, in the chair, uncross your legs, so your feet are nicely flat on the ground. If you actually want to lie on the floor to do these exercises, then if you have a yoga mat, that's perfect, or even a few rugs so that it's comfortable and soft for you to lie on, on the floor. Otherwise, if you want to lie on your bed, please do so, but there may be more of a tendency to fall asleep. And if you need to use a cushion, grab one of those just to support your head. Just Remember, this is individual, so get yourself nice and comfortable. If at any point you feel lightheaded or uneasy, then please just stop. Maybe have a sip of water or two. Occasionally, I have found in some relaxation sessions that I have led that people fall asleep, and that's perfectly natural, particularly if you're tired. So it's okay. But I would say, if you do need to be somewhere, because I'm not in the room with you, so I can't wake you up, you might need to set an alarm or your phone, or if you've got somebody who can just gently wake you up, 
um, when the session's finished, because the last thing I want you to do is to have that praying on your mind. Breathing techniques. So I'll be doing just some slow, deep breathing in this session. And occasionally it can make you feel a little lightheaded. So if you do feel like that at any point, don't worry, just stop and return to normal breathing. Lastly, um, I'm going to be using something called guided imagery, which is a sort of a form of meditation take you on a journey using your mind. Now the setting that I'm going to be using today is a woodland walk. Just in case anybody has any negative feelings about woodland walks. Again, we're all very different. So if that's so, then please just join my session up to that point and then stop. Again, if you feel anxious at any point throughout the story, then please just stop and return your thoughts to the room. Maybe have a little gentle stretch and finish the session. It's really important that you remember that you are in control at all times. So you can stop at any time you feel the need. Sometimes I've also found that uh, people can get a little bit emotional following the guided imagery section and I think that's probably to do with all the stress release and perhaps feeling really happy in that environment. And that's OK. But again, please stop if this makes you feel uncomfortable at all. And just lastly, I just need to say that if you do suffer from psychosis, evidence has shown that occasionally taking part in guided imagery can cause um, confusion and distress only occasionally, but it's just important for me to make a note of that. So I would advise that you don't take part in this section. Okay. So here is a lovely picture of a woodland walk. I'm not expecting you to be looking at that throughout the session. It's there just in case you need a point of focus and you don't feel comfortable with your eyes shut. So let's get on to the practical session of this relaxation technique period. So let's get ourselves nice and comfortable. As I said before, if you can loosen your clothes or take off any sort of really tight restrictive clothing that you have on, kick off those shoes and get yourselves feeling nice and comfortable and supported in your chair or lying down. So I'll just give you a few moments just to get yourselves ready. Okay, so let's start. So we're going to begin with some passive muscle relaxation. The aim of this exercise is to release any tension that we have stored up in our muscles, particularly when we're tense or anxious. Often we don't even realize that we have tension in certain parts of our body. So this exercise helps us become more aware and hopefully able to alleviate that tension. So if you feel comfortable, if we could all start by closing our eyes and just start to take some nice, slow, deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Nice and slow. Try and ensure that you're really emptying all the air that's in your lungs when you breathe out. In through the nose 
and out through the mouth. If you're able to, it would be good to sort of try and get you to do what we call diaphragmatic breathing. So to help you do this, if you put your hands on your tummy rather than your chest, try and focus breathing from that area. So that as you breathe in, your tummy rises and pushes your hands away from each other. And as you breathe out, your hands go closer to each other as your tummy falls in. So breathing in and breathing out. This is a natural way of breathing, but we just tend to get out of this habit. If you look at a baby when they're breathing, their chest doesn't rise, their tummy area tends to rise. And it's a deeper, deeper, more controlled, relaxed, healing breath. Don't force this breath though. Try and keep your body as loose as you can. And with every breath out, just try and let that tension just drain away. Enjoying breathing in, enjoying breathing out. And just let yourself feel heavier, and heavier in your chair or on the floor with every breath that you take. And remember, if you're feeling lightheaded at all, just go back to your normal breath pattern. So now let's start focusing our attention on our feet. And I want you to imagine the tension just draining away, letting the arches of your feet loosen, your heels soften, your toes relax and lengthen. And let any tension in your feet just drain away into the floor. And now move your mind to your calves and let the muscles just soften and loosen. Imagine letting go of any knots as you breathe out and just let that tension drain away with the breath. And now let that feeling of relaxation move towards your thighs allowing them to soften and feel heavy and smooth. Just letting the muscles relax and any tension just drain away. Keep taking nice, slow, deep breaths. Letting your lower body feel heavier and heavier on the chair or floor as you become more and more relaxed. And allow that feeling of relaxation travel up into your hips, and around your lower back, and let it almost bathe that area, 
with warmth and softness and let it just dissolve away any knots that might be there in those muscles. Breathing out any tension that's there. And now let's move this lovely feeling into our tummies. Letting our tummies feel warm and soft. and moving up towards your chest, allowing the muscles to unwind and feel free and soft and relaxed. Breathing out any tension or tightness. Enjoy that feeling of warmth and softness spreading across your chest and your tummies. And now let that lovely feeling of relaxation and heaviness and warmth travel up and around your shoulders, loosening them softening them before letting that feeling travel down your arms all the way to the tips of your fingers, letting it work its magic into all those little knotted muscles and loosening any tension that might be built up there. And now let this healing relaxation travel back up your arms, up your shoulders, around your neck and up over your scalp and around your foreheads, smoothing and softening this area. Feel that tension just drain away, breathing out any tightness that you might have. And let that feeling just melt any aches or tension behind our eyes, softening those sockets. spreading behind your nose and then around your jaws, allowing this area to become loose and soft and heavy. Enjoy a sense of peace as you breathe out any remaining tension letting your bodies become soft and relaxed from the top of your scalp to the tip of your toes. Allow your bodies to feel beautifully relaxed. And let's just take a few more deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And so now keeping your eyes closed and your bodies relaxed, I'm going to take you on a journey in your mind along a woodland walk. There will be a section where I pause and allow you to just let your minds rest listening to the music without me speaking.
And now you'll have some music just fading in and I'm going to begin the journey. So let your imagination take you out into the woods. It's a beautiful summer's day. Warm enough to maybe take your coat off and just feel the sun warm your shoulders and back, making you feel relaxed, warm and safe. Overhead, the sky is a brilliant blue with the occasional white fluffy clouds and birds that soar overhead. Just marvel at its beauty and let any worries or stress or tension just evaporate into the expanse of the blue above. The trees around you are magnificent. A mixture of conifers, silver birches and gnarled oaks. And all around you, it feels like the woods are brimming with life, colour and sound. Take a moment to listen and breathe it all in. There ahead of you, amongst the undergrowth, you notice a little pathway that slowly winds through the trees. And you're intrigued and decide to follow it slowly. You can feel the soft moss under your feet you can smell the heady scent of pine underfoot. With each step, you feel more and more relaxed and soothed by this place. Notice the sounds around you. The constant chatter of squirrels. The birds. And even the crunch of gravel and twigs as you walk. You might want to reach out and touch the bark of a nearby oak tree. You notice its distinctive patterns on the trunk and feel the comforting roughness of the bark against your skin. If you look up, you will see its splendid canopy of branches with a layer upon layer of dazzling green leaves. Notice the new leaves, how bright and perfect they look. Watch them dance and flutter 
in the breeze. Continue along the path once more. And with every step you take, just notice how free and happy you feel. Walking feels effortless. You feel as light as a feather, no tension, just contented and relaxed. Watch how the sunlight streams through the trees onto the path and foliage below. It's golden light dancing and creating shapes that constantly change. Listen to the soft cooing of pigeons above. And if you listen carefully, you might just make out the drumming of a woodpecker in the distance. What other sounds can you hear in your forest? Notice the warm breeze that from time to time brushes your cheeks and take a moment to breathe it in. The sweet, heady smell of the forest. Far off in the distance, you're sure you can hear the faint sounds of water, which draws you back along the pathway, eager to discover more. The sounds of tumbling water grow stronger as you draw nearer. And there before you is a little stream bubbling and gurgling over the rocks. So bright and alive refreshing and cleaning everything it touches. A little further downstream, you see to your delight that the stream is now cascading down into a little waterfall. You watch how the light sparkles, creating stars of light with the spray. The water looks so inviting, it's mountain clear. You might want to dip your hand or a toe into the water where it's shallow. Notice how refreshing and cool it feels against your skin.
you notice a little grassy clearing dappled in sunlight that overlooks the stream. The grass looks dry and soft and inviting with wild thyme and purple headed clover. It looks the perfect place to sit down on or lie back and rest your body. So why don't you just take a good rest here and let the sun wash over your body and breathe in a sweet sense of the thyme and clover. And just let yourself be mesmerized by the peace and tranquility of this magical woodland forest. And just let your minds wander. just start to notice the sounds in your room, the sound of your breathing. And when you're ready, just start to bring very gentle movement to your hands and feet.
fingers and toes. And maybe just have a very little gentle stretch of your arms and your legs. Maybe a good yawn. But do this in your own time. Don't rush. Don't undo the work that you've put in relaxing your minds and bodies. And when you feel ready, sit up slowly and open your eyes and very gently adjust yourself to your room and everything that's around it. So that's the end of the relaxation session today. Thank you for taking part and I hope you've enjoyed it and that you are feeling nice and relaxed in your mind and your body. If you haven't tried the other session that we have, please do have a look at that. That one uses progressive muscle relaxation, which rather than using your mind, to relax the muscles, you actually physically tense your muscles and relax them. Some people find that a little bit easier. It again is very much personal taste and personal choice. I also do uh, another guided imagery part, um, but instead of being a woodland walk, it's a walk along a white sandy beach. Okay, that's the end of the session, so thank you.